As a real estate agent, we go to a lot of networking events and we're constantly networking. We know the importance of knowing other people. We're in a business where the more people you know, the more business you're going to get. It's a person to person business, not a transactional business. And you need to build connections with people. The problem is I see so many real estate agents who don't know how to properly introduce themselves. So in this video, I'm going to give you a tip on how to properly introduce yourself the next time you meet someone new. What's up everybody, my name is Mike Sherrard. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you love or want to learn tips, tricks, and secrets on social media, personal branding, online lead generation, mindset, entrepreneurship, and the like, please make sure you subscribe and lightly tap that notification bell so you get notified the next time I drop a new video for you. If you do get value from this video, all that I ask in return is a little thumbs up to keep me motivated to put out new videos each and every week. Now, as mentioned in the introduction, I go to a lot of networking events. So does every real estate agent. We know that we need to build connections. We need to become the person that's top of mind in our city. And we need to know people. We're in a business where the more people you know, the more business you're going to get. It's all about building connections, fostering relationships, and making sure that people in your city are familiar with you and seeing you out and being able to recollect who you are and what you do. You want to be the agent that's top of mind. But the problem is, I see this time and time again. When real estate agents go to networking events, they fail to properly introduce themselves. Now, what do I mean by that? Every time I see a real estate agent at a networking event, I will say, hey, my name is Mike Shard. You know, what do you do? And they'll say, I'm a real estate agent or I'm a realtor. That is one of the worst things you can do. Now, let me explain why. We all know it's no secret that real estate agents have a stigma. There's a stigma around almost every sales profession because they believe that it's soliciting and there's just so many negative connotations associated in many people's minds about real estate agents. But there's so many of us that are great and the majority of realtors are great. They have great intentions. They've got amazing work ethic. They're very personable. They love to give back. They care about others. There's so many positive things that I can rhyme off for days about realtors. But there's the stigma and almost everybody has it. They think, you know, oh, it's just another realtor. They're always out here. They're flooding the events. There's too many of them but that's not the case. So what I wanna teach you is the introductory line that I use in order to excite conversation and help you stand out at the next networking event. When I'm at a networking event and someone says, hey, nice to meet you, what do you do? This is the line that I use. Hi, my name is Mike Sherrard. I do creative work in the real estate space. Listen to that again. When somebody asks me, what do I do? I do not say, hi, my name's Mike Sherrard, I'm a realtor, or hi, my name's Mike Sherrard, I'm a real estate agent. I say, hi, my name is Mike Sherrard, I do creative work in the real estate space. Now, what does that do? You're probably asking, well, what do you mean, Mike? That's the exact reason why I say that sentence, because people are now going to ask, well, what do you mean? What do you mean creative work in the real estate space? Are you an investor? Are you a marketer? What, you know, what do you do? That's what you want. You want to give yourself an opportunity for people to ask you more questions about what you do. So when people ask, oh, that's great, you know, what do you mean by creative work in the real estate space? I now have an opportunity and a window of their attention and their curiosity because I've peaked it to start explaining the things I do differently as a real estate agent. I leverage social media in a different way. So it allows me to now talk about the fact that I leverage things like creative Facebook ads and online strategies in order to get homes sold for more money in less time. Even just saying that sentence, more money in less time, they're gonna say, well, how do you do that? Well. 
Now that gives you another opportunity to talk about what you do with Facebook lead ads and how you can get more exposure on properties and how you have this unique selling strategy of coming soon, just listed, mega open houses. If you guys want to know about my creative Facebook lead ad strategies, click below and I'll have a link to my free masterclass where I show you guys what I do differently on Facebook ads. But that's what you want. You want to keep their curiosity peaked. You want them to constantly ask more questions about what you do because now you have this rare opportunity as a realtor where you're no longer one of many, you're one of one. You do something different in the real estate space. So you can talk about what kind of tech you leverage, the video content you put out, the social media platforms that you're active on and building connections and relationships on. This is exactly what you want. We all as modern innovative realtors, which I'm assuming you are if you're watching this video, you have unique selling strategies. You are leveraging the latest trends and technology. You are on the leading edge of what's new, what's relevant, and how to implement that to get better results for people. So next time you're at a networking event, don't just introduce yourself as a realtor or a real estate agent because the conversation stops. They're gonna make their own prejudgments. They're going to just ask you how the market is and the conversation's done. You're now one of many, one of the hundreds of other realtors that they've met at these networking events and that they know, and there's nothing that sets you apart. You want to go deep into conversation and have them asking questions about what makes you unique because you pique their interest about what you do differently. So next time somebody asks you what you do, say that you do creative work in the real estate space and have your script ready to tell them exactly what you do differently to get home sold for more money in less time, what you do in order to find the right properties for buyers, maybe off market using Facebook ads, and the like. If you guys have any more questions about what to do when you're at the next networking event to maximize your results and build stronger connections, drop a comment below and I will gladly help you out. I love when you guys engage with my content. Thank you so much for tuning in as always and we will see you next time.